Wooden Academy Champions Program, where student athletes focus on personal, leadership, and professional development. Now let's move on. Last spring, UCLA women's gymnastics team won its seventh national championship in dramatic fashion. One of the top returnees from the team is Felicia Hano, a former member of the USA national team, Fish as she is affectionately known, who will be counted upon to lead the Bruins and coach Valerie Condos Fields last season. I never really have any hesitations. I've never been that type of gymnast that was scared of things. Like I always was really eager to try new skills. I wasn't really scared of falling or getting hurt. And I think I'm still the same way. That fearless attitude has helped UCLA junior Felicia Hano collect her first perfect 10 in All-American Accolade and a national championship all by her sophomore year. But the five foot two gymnast has chosen a unique path for after graduation. Instead of having aspirations to compete in the Olympics, Felicia has set her sights on a career in law enforcement. I really think um, law enforcement and helping other people is going to be my passion and I don't think anything is going to stand in my way. Like the fear of falling doesn't really affect me in gymnastics, the fear of getting hurt, doing what I love doesn't scare me. She told us that she wanted to make an impact in the world and I told her, well, if you're going to do make an impact like that, you need to go to an agency that's worldwide or international and she picked the FBI and so I think, I think it'll be a good fit. The law enforcement precedent has been set in the Hano family by Edward, a canine corporal officer with the City of Downey Police Department. The perils of that job came into sharp focus in the summer before Felicia's sophomore year. A freak training exercise explosion left Edward with severe burns to his hands and face. She literally chose to have faith that he would be fine. and. You know, we talked about it's normal to be sad and fearful, but that doesn't mean you have to give up your hope and your faith. And your dad's going to be fine, Felicia. After a month-long hospital stay, filled with surgery after surgery, Corporal Hanna was allowed to finish his recovery at home. And nearly a year after the accident, he was able to rejoin his squad on the streets of Downey. Having something traumatic like that happen to your family, you really have to step up because, you know, I have people coming up to me telling me you need to stay strong for your sister, for your mom, for your dad. The maturity gleaned from that experience helped Felicia in her sport as well. And now with one NCAA championship under the belt, thoughts naturally turn to a repeat in Coach Val's last season. We've definitely talked about um, the whole repeating and then just kind of the bubble around that and we're not really trying to focus on repeating we just want to go out do the best that we are capable of and we'll see where that um, finishes us this year this season Hano is stepping into a new role with the Bruins what's gonna be fun is hopefully to see Felicia compete in the all-around she competed on vault and floor last year but she's a beautiful beam worker and she's a beautiful bar worker um, she doesn't like bars as much, but she's choosing to go to bars with a positive attitude every day, and, you, and it's translated to her gymnastics. I want the best for my team, and sometimes I don't feel like I can be the best for my team on that event because, you know, I have those self-doubts and those moments that I let down. One of the nice things about Felicia's gymnastics is she has no inherent deductions. Her legs are always straight, her feet are always pointed, she has beautiful body line. So if she hits a routine well, she can easily score a 10 on every event. Stay tuned this season for Felicia's new floor routine that is guaranteed to turn heads. A routine inspired by the legendary choreographer Bob Fosse and described by Felicia as Atlantis in the 1920s. <laughs>